do some transfer talk. I want to bring up the Gavi story. So, for those who might not be aware, it, it, this report comes from Tom. Is it All Nut? Is that Tom All Nut? Tom in, All Nut, in, yeah. in the Times, yeah. It says, Liverpool and Man City are keeping an eye on an increasingly messy situation surrounding Barcelona and the midfielder Gavi, who could become available on a free transfer because of a dispute over whether the Spanish club can afford to even register him. Basically, without going into too much, Barca... Um, Give off them a new contract. Liverpool were interested in last summer. It was reporting as well. Off them a new contract. It's now going through the courts to decide whether they're breaching financial rules yeah. by giving them that contract. So, Th- then it does an issue about the time and of the contract. So, so as what? Well. What it? What it is? Is he's obviously a homegrown player who's on a youth contract, which expires this summer. Yeah. They want. They obviously have to put him on a, a first team contract. But weirdly, in in Spain or the, the rules in Spain is when you register a, 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 even a homegrown player from your academy. It's it's a new signing, and and yeah. Barcelona are in this position. Obviously, we we know all the sort of rigmarole surrounding pulling of levers, and you know trying to work around financial rules and selling off parts of you know assets and 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 future revenue. So there, they they it was a, initially ratified. I think it was in January that it was ratified, yeah. um, and then the league has appealed against that and won the the case. So it's been overturned. So at the moment. And I'm sure there'll be more to come from that. At the moment, Barca are standing to lose Gavi on a free because they, his youth contract expires in the summer. They can't give him another youth contract because he's 18 and they can't give him a first-team contract because they would need to free up fund space. And, it's reminiscent and, of the Messi situation. Yeah, it is. Exactly. Yeah, he yeah. wanted to keep Messi and he was out of contract. Because he, he, he was out of contract, he, he would have been a new signing. Yeah, yeah um, and that, that's the same with, with, with Gavi. I mean, it, it's a very... Potentially a very exciting story for Liverpool. I mean, I know Manchester City were also a linked in the story, aren't they? And that that terrifies me to be honest. The thought of them getting <laughs> in, um, but potentially a very exciting thing. Liverpool were linked last summer, obviously, you know, and yeah, I think that was quite. I think a lot of people sort of went, no, I don't think there's any chance. But you're looking now in in March, and you think, okay, there, you know, it's a messy, and as in messy with a Y, <laughs> um, you can get you can get it. Potentially, a, a, I think he's not far off already, but I think he's going to be world class player for very little. You know, wow, what a, what an opportunity that's going to be for someone. The only thing is, you know, we've seen in in Barcelona and Real Madrid and clubs like that that, that there's a lot of red tape and sort of you know secret sort of tricks that get pulled off that where, where you they get out of this situation. But we saw it messy, didn't we? They didn't. They didn't get out of that. I think I I, I think I remember when he sort of gave this thing. I, I always thought. They'll sort that out, and he'll just end up getting a new contract somehow. He never did. He he left. So there is there is precedent for it, and I would be. I have to say, I would be absolutely delighted if Liverpool were able to cash in and take advantage of this situation. It would be, an, a real game changer for the club. But I think there's still a lot of uh, a lot of rumbling to come in this story. But to be fair, the time is run out, and the league are digging the heels in. So Javier Tabassi, the president yeah. of the league, says we've not let Barcelona sign players this winter. They will not be able to sign players next summer. He's adamant about it. They, they, there's talk of like a billion euros worth of debt at Barcelona. Yeah. It, it's it's crazy. Um, yeah, just to clarify, if his contract is cancelled, he goes back to his youth term deal. Therefore, he's available for free. A commercial court in Barcelona ruled in favour of them in January to ratify the, the new contract. It was going to be on eight million euros a year, and it with a billion, billion pound, pound release clause. It was a billion pound release clause that is now being reversed uh, with La Liga claiming Barcelona missed the deadline to file their case. She also Barcelona insists everything was presented on time, and Gavi's senior contact remains in force. So yeah, it's essentially now a legal dispute. But we we have seen this with, with Leo Messi at some point. There's a point where he's, he's not a Barcelona player, and for his for his career, he's gonna to have to go somewhere. Like I say, the thought of him going down the road to City is terrifying. Yeah. But the fact that Liverpool were interested in him in last year, maybe they had wind. Obviously, they'd, they'd have been aware of the contract situation and the rules around youth contracts in Spain. Anyway, they're very much. You know, it's not the first young Spanish lad Liverpool could have got on a cheap. We just spoke about Stephen by Chetic before, mm. but this is another level of it. This is one where it feels like there's court and legal cases and loads of ramifications, but. There is a chance for somebody to get a yeah. superstar player where Barcelona value him at a billion pounds. They they do that basically to say he's indispensable. No one's having him for nothing. Someone can just have him and Barcelona yeah. get nothing for it. I change that does change it. It's it's not just this isn't just a sort of Barcelona's hottest prospect. You know we've seen obviously in the past. I think Cesc Fabregas and um, Gerard Piquet. You know going away when they're sort of fourteen, fifteen. 
from from La Masia. This is this is a player who's been you know, he's played for Spain at the World Cup. He's 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 he, he, yeah, <laughs> like he's a brilliant, brilliant player. You know, he's already one of the best players of his position and age in the world. You know, so this this is this is another level up in terms of that. And you know, because your instinct almost says, "Oh, that looks a little bit sort of." Complicated, you know. I might keep keep myself out of that, really. You know, I don't really want to get myself tied up in lawyers and court cases and you know embargoes and transfer bans and what whatever else. You know, I don't fancy sort of unveiling this new player and then Barcelona's appeal goes to the court of arbitration and they say, oh, you know, he can't he can't play anywhere until it's resolved and you, you're left with him. I think he's sort of so good that you think if there's a chance, just go, just have a go, like you know, like put, sort of put yourself as as close as you can. You know, if I'm Liverpool, I think I'm sort of whispering in people's ears, saying, "I tell you what, the Barcelona are cheeky, aren't they? They're an absolute disgrace the way what they, the way they've carried on." I definitely wouldn't overturn that decision, and um, it's an, it, you know, it's, it's definitely one to watch. It's definitely an exciting one from from Liverpool point of view if they can get in there. But like I say, you know, it's it's a it's a messy a messy story, and there's going to be a lot more to come in it, and you know. I think it's just one to keep an eye on and see what 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 can come of it. But some player, yeah, like I say, Liverpool inquired about him last summer. Um, City again, but, but there was talk of Bernardo Silva going to Barca and really maybe City trying to get Gavi back if he weren't going to sign a contract. But like, he did sign a contract. It's just whether it, it whether it, uh, it stands up in court. Liverpool have done this before, but then again, not in terms of stealing the play. But like, if they think a player is that good, they'll go down the league route. They did it with Javier Mascarano. It was a long time ago. It was a different regime, but essentially. They thought he was worth the hassle of going to court and, and Rick Paddy having to go to and all that kind of stuff. There are certain players where you're thinking, oh, it, it is just worth the messing around because ultimately, yeah. they haven't really gone on to lose. Once you sign, I'm not going to take him back off yet. You know what I mean? If you can get yeah. this done soon enough. And there's no, you know, just on a, on a basis, there's no risk attached to this sign as a, in terms of football. You know, obviously in terms of politics or, or that kind of thing, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be difficult to do. But in terms of football, I mean, you, you're getting a £100 million player almost, you know, <laughs> Even if he, for some reason, he doesn't adapt to the Premier League or whatever, you know, this this is this is a player that's going to have a lot of value for 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 the rest of his career, pretty much, you know, injury permitting. So, you know, it's it's potentially a massive sort of coup for whoever gets him. And yeah, hopefully it's hopefully it's Liverpool. And I say this, and I mean this, knowing full well what I'm about to say, my sound map, but like only eight million euros a year wages, and I say only <laughs> knowing very full well what that means, it's only like a hundred and fifty. Your thousand euros a week, which is about the going rate for the average. You know, mm. that's what that, that's like quite low down. Well, like, that's that's well, probably Alex Oxford Chamberlain's wages. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's not like a high wage. Like, say, Liverpool would obviously yeah. to try and get him there. They're going to have to offer him more because Man City certainly will be able to. But <laughs> and it all adds up. It's just whether, like, it's like you say before, the, the messy thing has changed this so much. Because I used to always think in these situations, someone at Real Madrid or someone at Barcelona will just find a way to get this box yeah. off. But Re- like La Liga are adamant that, that I think they basically they got pissed off at the whole Super League stuff didn't help like, relations yeah. and, and all of this. But La Liga, had, they, they they literally let Leo Messi leave the club. Leo Messi who got more eyes on La Liga than anyone. Yeah. In the same time when Cristiano Ronaldo was about to go, and they were willing to stand up to Barcelona, La Liga aren't taking well, this you look at, down. You look at obviously just another Barcelona issue, but early in the season with with Griezmann, wasn't it where he was playing? You can only play half an hour or less than half an hour a game, and you know you, the end. They end up in these weird situations, don't they? I remember Arda Turan, I think, was was one of them. Was he did he sign for Barcelona? I think he couldn't play for sort of three or four months at the start of a season. I think it was a fullback as well. I can't remember who it was. Um, you know, they they were they had the they do have these sort of disputes with the league and 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 over registration and and financial things. So, yeah, I think you're right. Messi Messi does sort of he he's obviously the poster boy of this. You know. La Liga versus Barcelona or La Liga versus the big clubs and obviously don't forget Barcelona are embroiled in another scandal over you know over payments made to certain individuals and, and, and companies so you know there's yeah there's a lot going on at the new Camp um, and there's still nine points clear at the top of the table as well so he could even he couldn't even go out as a La Liga winner and, and off into the sunset Yeah the terrifying thing like you mentioned there it's around this one up is that obviously it's great for Liverpool in Manchester City, Manchester United, Chelsea, every, Arsenal, again, every single, Paris Saint Germain, Bayern Munich. The, 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 also, the second that it becomes available, that Gavi's there. You talk about everyone wanting Drew Bellingham for 150 million quid or whatever. Imagine if Gavi was available for nothing. There isn't a team in the world who aren't going to want him. Mm-hmm. And there are certain teams within this league. If he goes there, that it, that is terrifying because you talk about how you, know, you, you, went, you, you mentioned Fabregas before. He was phenomenal both at Arsenal and Chelsea. Gavi's ahead of him in terms like he's playing now all the time at Barca. 
it is it's a it is a scary prospect that he could go somewhere else as well. Listen, it's all well and yeah. good from the pool angle, but like again, you 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 need, you need cry before when you said Manchester City. Imagine <laughs> that he's he's just a perfect. He's player. perfect for them. I don't say he is. He's 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 one of them that's sort of ten. He's a ten year plus player, isn't he? You know, at the club. So yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So there's the glass half full, glass half empty yeah. scenario there. But yeah, I think at least Liverpool seem to be in the uh, in the mix, and you know, hopefully. Hopefully, it were, you know, the cards fall in their favour. Like yeah. Hopefully, the Liga continues to stand up to Barcelona. Um, yeah, everyone getting the T-Bash banners out on the car. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> the fact that Barcelona is just a sham. Everything about that football club at the moment crazy. is just... It's, it's crazy. It's, for, and, but they're going to win the league probably as well. It's just it is yeah. bonkers, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely they play bonkers. Real Madrid on Sunday, don't they, in, the, in El Clasico. So, yeah, big one. Davy will be playing, hopefully he'll be playing in the Merseyside Derby next year. For us, not for everyone, well, I mean, you know, Sean Dyche might be able to get on the phone to him. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed that chat about Gavi. That was taken from our Journal Insight show. Each week, me and Neil Jones in the studio talking about all the big stories around Liverpool Football Club. If you want to go and check that entire show out, plus all of our other amazing content, head to redmenplus.com. If you sign up as a monthly club captain and use the code JOURNO, J-O-U-R-N-O on the payment screen, rather than being charged £5 a month, you'll be charged 99 p a month for the first three months an absolute bargain it's a ridiculous discount go and shout the entire show and our entire back catalogue of content over on redmenplus.com see you in a bit hey everyone i hope you enjoyed the show did you know that if you go over to redmenplus.com and sign up as a club legend subscriber i will personally email you every single month with a new code which gets you 20 percent off at redmenmerch.com that's a no-brainer go and do it